Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Kate. And today we have another great Catholic book find for you. It is this one, How They Love Mary by Father Ed Looney. Perfect for the month of May, the month of the Blessed Mother. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so last Christmas, this book was on our Catholic wish list and Santa came through for us. It was under the tree and we are so glad because <laughs> it was so good. The book is very interesting and unique. It takes a look at the lives of different Catholics, like different saints, and pinpoints all the ways that they love Mary. So many of us are devoted to the Blessed Mother, but we all honor her in our own different ways. So it was very interesting to take a look at all these different types of Marian devotion. So we wanted to share some of our favorites from the book with you today. First up is how to love Mary like Pope Francis, and that is to lead with Mary. Before and after he goes to a new country, the Pope makes a point to stop by the Basilica of St. Mary Major and to visit the Madonna of Rome, who is also known as Our Lady Health of the Roman People. So during these visits, he asks for Our Lady's protection action and entrust into her care his work for the greater glory of God. And Father Looney says that he approaches these visits like a son visiting his mother. So we just love this idea. If you are starting a new project, what better way to start it than to ask for help from your mother? Because moms love to help us with our special projects. They want us to be safe when we travel. So starting something new, that is a great time to lead it off with Mary. <laughs> So at church, we have this beautiful image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So we have adopted Pope Francis's strategy. Um, and whenever we're going to travel, we stop by and say an extra prayer, asking for Our Lady's protection and for safety on the road. Next up is how to love Mary like Archbishop Fulton Sheen, dedicated to and protected by Mary. And this one comes uh, with a priest joke attached to it, told by Fulton Sheen himself. So of course we're gonna tell you. And it goes like this. So one day Jesus was walking around heaven and he saw all these large crowds of people arriving there. So he talked to St. Peter and asked him, why aren't you checking out all these people before letting them into heaven? And St. Peter says, Jesus, I'm trying to catch up, but every time I close the door, your mother opens a window. So it's, it's kind of like a bad dad joke. Um, kind of. Kind of. Not really though, there's a lot of truth to it because Mary is always opening windows for us and helping us in any way she can. We learn from the book that Fulton Sheen was extremely devoted to Our Lady of Lourdes and in fact he visited Lourdes over 30 times during his life. So that was very exciting for us because we also love Our Lady of Lourdes and St. Bernadette. So reading that made us happy. And there are lots of ways that you can love the Blessed Mother like Fulton Sheen. But one of them is if you're praying for the conversion of a specific person, entrust that person to the Blessed Mother. Fulton Sheen truly believed that Our Lady would obtain the conversion of whomever he was praying for. So he completely trusted his mother on this and the results were quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Father Looney includes several stories about this in his book, but we are not going to give away any spoilers. You can also imitate him by visiting Lourdes, either in person or virtually. If you go onto the official Lourdes website, you can do a virtual tour there. They even have a webcam set up so you can see the grotto. And you can also leave a virtual prayer request online and that will be placed in the grotto for you. We know this works because we have done it many, many times. So we'll link the website down below. Next is how to love Mary like St. Thomas Aquinas, to think deeply about Mary. So we all know that Thomas Aquinas was a deep thinker, a great scholar, a doctor of the church. He spent a lot of time thinking about the Blessed Mother and wrote about her extensively. So Father Looney suggests to imitate Thomas Aquinas, we should try to learn something new about the Blessed Mother. And to that end, he recommends visiting the University of Dayton's online Marian Library. Oh my goodness, the library is so amazing. There is a section called All About Mary, and it has everything Marian related, her symbols, flowers, um, different artwork, shrines, everything you want to know about Mary, it's there. So if you're looking to learn more about the Blessed Mother, definitely check it out. We'll also have that linked down below. You can also love Mary like Sister Claire Crockett. Be joyful with Mary. 
So Sister Claire was a young Irish nun whose full name was Sister Claire Maria of the Trinity and the Heart of Mary. She had a special love for music and composed lots of different songs about Our Lady. She also had a special passion for teaching children about Jesus, and she would take kids into the Adoration Chapel and say, just look at Jesus in the monstrance for three minutes and let him look at you. She said anything is possible, great things, powerful things can happen during those three minutes. Now, sadly, she did die young in an earthquake in Ecuador in 2016, but there is a wonderful documentary about her life called All or Nothing on YouTube, and in it, you can truly see the joy and the love she had for the Lord. We'll have it linked down below, and we truly believe it's not going to be long before she's on the path to sainthood. In the meantime, you can love Mary like Sister Claire by honoring her son in adoration. You can take your students or your own family to the Adoration Chapel and teach them Sister Claire's three-minute devotion to Jesus. Or you could also imitate Sister Claire by singing a song of praise to Mary or learning a new one. Or if you're extra musical, you could write a piece for Mary or write a song. May would be a great month to do that. And lastly, you can love Mary like St. Damien of Molokai. Every saint is devoted to Mary in some way. So we mentioned in our Pilgrim Rosary video that St. Damien would often honor Mary and pray for the holy souls in purgatory at the same time by saying a rosary in the cemetery on Molokai. Now it might seem a little bit weird to go to a cemetery to pray the rosary, but in reality, Cemeteries are often very beautiful and very peaceful places, great places to pray. And bonus, while you're there, you can be praying for your own departed loved ones. So those are some of our favorites, but there are lots of other saints and people in this book and lots of other ways that you can honor the Blessed Mother. So it's really fun to read through the book and pick out the different devotions that appeal to you. We really love the one from Pope Francis, the idea of stopping off and having a little chat with Our Lady before going on a trip. So this book definitely gets five stars from us and goes on our do not miss list. And as a bonus, it would also be a great Mother's Day gift. So we hope this video will inspire you to spend a little extra time with Mary during the month of May. She will lead us all right to Jesus. O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.